Big tech has had a surprisingly small impact on you. As healthcare, so far. Artificial intelligence, for example, outperforms physicians in many complex tasks, like reading mammograms and analyzing chest x-rays, yet AI remains woefully underused. Meanwhile, many have tried to spur operational efficiency using big data analytics, but care delivery remains as inconsistent and ineffective as ever. Perhaps the most telling example of big tech struggles in medicine, 9 and 10 healthcare organizations still rely on fax machines to exchange important patient information. Two tech giants are trying to change all that, and capture a meaningful slice of the $4. 1 trillion Americans spend on healthcare each year. Their approaches couldn't be more different. One company is dutifully abiding by an old, unwritten rule of health technology. The other is poised to rewrite the healthcare rulebook altogether. In most industries, technology has been used to disrupt or displace the incumbents. That's how ride-sharing apps shook up the taxi industry how online booking sites change travel and how streaming platforms bested cable companies. In healthcare, however, the safest and most reliable path to success is different. Tech companies make a profit by a. playing it safe and b. playing nice with hospitals, physicians, insurers and drug companies. Late last month, Apple released a 59-page report it referred to as a snapshot of our work to advance health. It was supposed to be a big, bold announcement, positioning Apple as a major force in healthcare. Instead, critics called it a desperate maneuver, a fickle attempt to convince shareholders that the company is keeping up with its rivals. The media backlash was swift. Severe and certainly not what CEO Tim Cook must have envisioned three years ago when he said Apple's greatest contribution to mankind would be health-related, a claim that was conspicuously absent from the company's near 60-page report. For all the report's lofty language, there was no evidence in it to suggest that Apple is on course to drastically improve American health. Take the Apple Heart Study, which aimed to prove the Apple Watch can accurately detect atrial fibrillation AFib. The effort was a classic case of rule following. Apple aligned with a prestigious academic research partner, Stanford, funded the massive research project and took a lengthy PR victory lap when the results came out. Independent researchers were less impressed with the findings which some called useless due to the study's poor demographics, a high dropout rate and the lack of follow-up. Critics also pointed out that mass screening for AFib might actually do more harm than good. As for the watch, itself, another study found that only 13% of people who were later diagnosed with atrial fibrillation had gotten an irregular heart rhythm notice previously.